What is good on guys, Jack here and welcome back to another episode of the Portsmouth Career Mode series. This is episode number 106 now guys, and we are going to be starting today's episode off by taking a little look at the squad report for this month. In the last episode, I didn't really look at the squad report in a full detail, and I know you guys do like to have a little look at the squad report, so if you do want to see any players, I'm going through this very quickly because I did recap it in the last episode, but I know a lot of you guys do like the squad report, so I'm going to be showing it right here, right now, so if you do want to see any players and where they are growing, then of course feel free to pause the video, take a little look at where they're growing and the stats that they are developing in. We've got some nice growth, it's only the start of the season, but it's still nice to see that we've got some good players growing there and we will have to wait and see how they end up developing by the end of the season. Thank you guys for all the support that you did give on the last episode. Once again, we managed to get over 65 likes. And if we could do the same on this video, guys, that would be greatly appreciated to show your support on the series. But here we see the Colombian FA have actually got, gone ahead and offered me a new contract. Apparently, there was some doubt surrounding my position as Colombian manager. And to be honest, at the moment... I'm not really sure if I want to be committing to the Columbia job again. I'm waiting to see if I can get any other good international jobs. Maybe England. That would be very, very nice if we could get the England national team job. But it's very, very unlikely. You never really get it in career mode. And I think only once or twice this year I've managed to get it. And even then, it wasn't even for YouTube, basically. I was just doing a personal career mode myself, and I managed to get it. It's just my luck, isn't it? And unfortunately, that's just how things go sometimes. Thought I'd take a little look at Tim Vice and showing you what happens when you become a wrestler. But seriously, why is this guy still in the game? I have no idea. I believe he's still on the latest updates of SoFIFA. Could be wrong on that one. But it is a little bit interesting. I, I, I don't know why I took a look at him and I got a full scout report on him. Just wanted to see what overall he was. And, of course, he's got that brute strength. Because, if you don't know, he did actually turn to a professional wrestler, I do believe. But anyway, I'm getting sidetracked now. Let's get on with the episode. And the first game of today's episode will be against Colchester United. And it will be in the Capital One Cup. Very, very early round in the Capital One Cup. I do believe this is going to be the second round of the Capital One Cup. Could be wrong on that one. But anyway, as they are a League One side, I believe they may even be a League Two side. I decided to play a much weakened side. We have Remy Bakar in there. And it would actually be our Scout Future Star Superstar having a shot there. And unfortunately, his finesse shot, really, really a good shot on goal there. But he's very, very unfortunate to hit the post there with that effort. They then go for a shot there in the 44th minute. That really wasn't the best effort on goal, though. And we would move on closer to half time now. And it would be Matt Yorfer getting on the ball here, passing it inside. Once again to his teammate Remy Bacar, but again his shot is blocked and we're not really getting too much luck in this match And we could have even gone down a goal in this match as they get it into the box And at this point it was looking increasingly unlikely that we were going to get a goal in this match We weren't playing well whatsoever. We had a shot there with Matt Yorfer. It ended up being a foul So it would end up being a free kick and it's 29 yards out Remy Bacar is going to take this one around the wall and that is a fantastic free kick by our Scout Future Star Superstar, Remy Bacar, getting the goal there, putting us up in front in this match. And to be honest, he looks like a brute, doesn't he? I mean, you look at his physique, you'd think, well, he must have about 90 strength in game. He really doesn't. He has about 65, I think it is. There's something ridiculously low like that. How can a player of his caliber, when you look at him, compared to any of the other players, his build, everything, you just don't understand and can't comprehend why his strength is so low. It just really doesn't make any sense. But anyway, once again, it would be Remy Bacar terrorizing the lower league defenses. And Remy Bacar gets his second goal of the game. And that is a very, very nice goal. Once again, getting his brace in this match very, very late on. And he could have had so many more goals. I mean, he missed two chances in the first half. He then made up for it with a really good free kick round the wall and beating the keeper. I probably would have scored that against any other Premier League team. So it was a good free kick. It wasn't like it was, well, an easier free kick to score because it was lower league opposition. I thought it was a very good free kick. And in the end, we get a 2-0 result. We advance in the Capital One Cup. And despite not having many first team players in the lineup for that match against Colchester, I felt that the team played very, very well. Alex Cartwright in particular 
right there. Very, very happy that he did, well, he did get pit for that match. And then we see there the best news of the episode so far. Wilczynski has declined a contract. So I gave him a really crap contract in the hope that he would end up declining it. And if he accepted it, then that would have been fine. I think I gave him future first team player. But to be honest, I was going through all of the players. And of course, in the last episode, we did see that a lot of players were moaning that they weren't getting into the team. And basically what I was trying to do here, you can see some contract offers were accepted. Some were declined. I was basically trying out a tactic that I've been testing on career mode as of recent. And it is, can you sign a player to a contract but on a lower squad role? And I find that you can actually do that. A lot of people say that you can't. And I may even bring out a video on it. But you can actually lower a player's squad role and actually get them to accept it. It may take a little while to get them to accept it. But in the end, they will eventually end up accepting it. Whether you give them higher wages or you give them bonuses per week. It doesn't matter. I just can't stand players moaning and it really does start to annoy me when every single month I open up my office and then I see in the player conversations I see literally four or five emails from loads of different players saying that they want to leave the club because they're not getting enough game time. A lot of the time they're just squad players that are moaning but sometimes I get first team players they miss one match. And then all of a sudden they're just crying because they're never getting into the first team apparently. It really is ridiculous. But anyway, enough of that run about player contracts and everything like that. It just really does annoy me. And hopefully they will fix that for next year. But anyway, we are going into this Chelsea match here. And it was unbelievable, honestly. You look at that chance there on goal that Chelsea had. They ended up scoring it. But it was a foul in the play or the build up to the goal. So it didn't actually count even though they put it into the back of the net. Tom Heaton had a lot of work to do in this match. And if you are wondering why I'm not starting Ulrich in this match. I really wanted to give Tom Heaton a go until he makes a mistake. I'm not going to be replacing him with Ulrich because at the moment it doesn't seem like goalkeepers play better depending on their rating. It just seems that they play better depending on, I don't, I don't even know. But you know what goalkeepers are like this year guys, they really are terrible. As we get the first goal of the game there with Rafa from a corner, we had a few successive corners building up to that chance. And it was Rafa who turned in the corner from, well, a little crossing tactic that I like to use. Play it short, wait for a player to run at him. And then, well, Rafa scoring a header, really? I mean, it's pretty ridiculous. You'd expect Rafa to be crossing it into Lascelles, not the other way round. But that's just how it works in career mode. And then this happens. Like, seriously... What the hell is wrong with goalkeepers this year? I have no idea. That is one of the stupidest goals that I've ever seen. Can, well, that I've ever conceded on career mode. You look at this. The cross comes in. Cavani hits the post. Tom Heaton just stands there. Runs at the ball. He doesn't even dive to try and save the shot. He's just standing there like, yeah, why don't you just take a shot? You're going to score anyway. I'm not even going to make an effort to even try and get down and save that one. But it was not over yet. We would look to try and get our way back into this match. And it would be Zivkovic on the ball here. Maybe it would be a late winner for Rikario Zivkovic. And he does end up getting the goal late on in the match. And I really was so happy when he scored that goal. I brought him back to the club. I had high expectations for him. And he has not let me down. This is the spark that we were missing from the team. And it was by the name of Rikario Zivkovic. Very lucky with the goal, yes, but we deserved it so much. After that stupid goal that Thorgan Hazard scored against Tom Heaton, we deserved a bit of luck ourselves. And we end up getting it, and it would be Zivkovic muscling his way past the Chelsea defence, getting the goal. And in the end, that would be enough for us to pick up the win in this match. And it was a very, very even game, to be fair. But to be honest, I felt that we did well in the second half to come back. After Chelsea had a dominant first half display and we end up picking up a very, very vital three points in this season. And then we go into the third and final game here, which will be against Malmö. I believe that's how you pronounce their team name. I think they're a Swedish club. Either way, they are in our Champions League group stage. We have Sparta at Mosva and we also have Barcelona as well to come up against. So a very, very tough group stage apart from Malmö. Those are some very, very strong sides and I can't underestimate Malmö either. They could end up being a very, very good side and surprise me. And in this match, they actually were the team 
game to have the first chance in the game. And they were trying to get it forward here and it would end up being passed inwards there. And that was a very good opportunity on goal. And then we would get our own opportunity for ourselves here as Boga doing a nice heel to heel flick there. Then I think that was Remy Bacar passing it inside and it would be Jordan Ives sprinting through the whole defence. And that is exactly what he does best. He's so good at doing that. Sprinting past every one of the defenders, and that's exactly what I mean. Remy Bacar is just absolutely huge, grabbing well a Jordan Ibe in celebration. Then he gets his first goal in the Champions League, and we are hopeful that we can actually go ahead and pick up a win in this match because that would be an ideal situation. As although Malmo were putting up a fight in this match, we were having so many corners, so many chances on goal, and that really should have been 2 0 there. A brilliant save by. By the Malmö goalkeeper, they were not going to give up in this match. They really did make a meal of this match and we should have been more clinical with our chances. It's really as simple as that. We then end up hitting the post. Somehow it fell to Jordan Ibe there on the far post and he really should have tucked that one away but he was unable to do so and then it would be into the second half. They would look for an equaliser and it was Ulrich making the save. That's exactly why we signed him. He made a brilliant, brilliant save there and that is not an easy save, trust me. That is a very, very good save by our new goalkeeper. And then it would be Yedlin going down the right-hand side, passing it inside. And that was a good opportunity once again. But then we hold on to the ball somehow. And another great save by the Malmo goalkeeper. And he really was doing well at saving all of our chances in the match. But would he be able to save this one? Zivkovic going through on goal. And unfortunately for the Malmo goalkeeper, this time we end up getting the goal. And it's the second goal of the game. Zivkovic getting his second goal in two games. Getting one in the Chelsea match late on. And also getting one late on against Malmo. Very, very good work from him. Him, and he really is proving why I signed him in the first place. A common signing he may be in career mode, but that really doesn't matter because if he's scoring the goals, if he's doing well for me, I really don't care less. I mean, we've got loads of players in the squad that are really, really good players. Unheard of, really, in a lot of other career modes. I think I've got a really, really original side that we built here with Portsmouth. But that is the end of that game. We end up picking up a 2-0 result. And we get our first three points in the Champions League group stage. But this is going to be the end of the video, guys. Hopefully you have enjoyed. And if you have enjoyed this episode of Career Mode, then make sure to leave a like on the video and subscribe if you haven't already. As it really does help out my channel, guys. And it shows me if you are enjoying this series and you do want it to continue. And hopefully my throat gets a little bit better. Because at the moment, it's absolutely killing me, guys. And you probably can hear it in the commentary. It's not been easy to get this video done. But hopefully you guys did enjoy it. And apart from that, guys, I'm going to have to leave it there. And I'll see you next time for another video. Thanks for watching.